Dear 7th semester Tripoli stream students, I welcome you all into my channel again. Hope you are all doing well and hope you have prepared your first subject HV and PSP. Today I am with your second subject that is PSOP power system operation and control. So let me discuss over here the super important questions. Subject code is 21 72. So there are some super important questions which I have analyzed for you students. You can refer these important questions. First of all in module first we have discuss the various operating states of power system with neat block diagram this is the super important question most of the times vt has asked this particular question okay it may be the 10 marks question next we have what is energy control center explain the functions of energy control center list out the objectives of power system control and explain the various controls involved in power system control and with a neat diagram explain the components of rtu remote terminal unit and what are intelligent electronic devices IEDs explain its uh, functional block diagram and discuss the classification of SCADA system with neat sketches wherever necessary explain the function of SCADA with block diagram this is again a super important one next we have defined preventive and emergency controls used in power system operation and list out them in the detail define energy management center and list out its functions last two questions we are having here list out the major components of SCADA and explain them in detail define an IED as per the industry standard I explain the fundamental blocks of an IED in detail using the structural block diagram so these are some super important questions from your model first and it is the passing module next we have module second explain the AVR and ALFC control loops with systematic block diagram and explain the different modes of governor operation explain the speed governor system this is again a super important one next we have draw the systematic diagram of a steam turbine governing system and explain the functions of various components obtain the transfer function for the complete alfc system obtain the overall expression of an agc with the pi controller from its a relevant block diagram representation of alfc explain the steady static analysis of alfc and give the mathematical model of single area controlled alfc along with block diagram last two questions we are having explain the operation of load frequency and excitation voltage regulators equipped in turbo generators with a neat systematic diagram state the need for proportional plus integral control in an isolated power system and derive the transfer function of it with pi controller through the block diagram of it next we have module third so these are nine questions from your module second and as far as numericals are concerned so you should refer 18 e 81 or 17 e 81 papers for your reference for the numericals next we have model third explain two area load frequency control again super important question derive the state space model for a single area lfc system explain automatic voltage control with block diagram and explain speed governor dead band and its effect on agc explain the decentralized control of agc and sixth one we have explained the operation of avr equipped in a turbo alternator with a neat systematic diagram and also derive its transfer function model with usual notations seventh last question from the model third is here that is explain the need for generation rate constraints in lfc and various ways of incorporating them in the mathematical model of lfc so this is all about model third now coming to the module fourth so now coming to the module four we have explained various methods of voltage control by injection of reactive power at a node in a power system explain the following methods of voltage control at a node in a power system using booster transformers using phase shift transformers third question explain in detail about the generation and absorption of reactive power by various power system components explain the production and absorption of reactive power what is meant by sub synchronous reactance briefly explain next we have explained the relationship between voltage and reactive power and explain tap changing transformer for voltage control show that the real power flow between two nodes is determined by the transmission angle and the reactive power flow is determined by the scalar scalar voltage difference between the nodes and with a neat diagram explain booster transformers and phase shift transformers 
using used for voltage control discuss the process of voltage collapse with a neat sketch 10th question we have derived the equations to get the relation between voltage power and reactive power at a node over here so these are 10 questions from your module 4th now coming to the module 5th this is the passing module where you have to cover these questions explain the security constraint and optimal power flow with the help of an example showing various states involved List out the factors affecting the power system security with a neat flow chart. Discuss the process involved in AC power flow security analysis with contingency case selection. This is again a super important question most of the times. So this question is coming in the examination. Next we have explained the major function of power system security. Explain contingency analysis by sensitive factor and with a neat diagram and necessary equations. Explain generation shift factors, line outage distribution factors. And explain the linear least square estimation technique used for state estimation in power system with flowchart. Explain the process of contingency selection and contingency ranking. So these are all super important questions from your all modules of your second subject 21 E72. So as far as numericals are concerned, make sure you will refer uh, 18 E81 paper and also 17 E81 paper for your reference and try to solve some varieties of problems but most of the times it is asking theory only right so maybe this time they will ask some numericals over there don't forget to refer to your papers 18 e 81 and 17 e 81 so this is all about today's video i wish you all the best for your examinations make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you